Hi guys, welcome to Popcorn and Gore Gothic Grindhouse. I'm sitting here now um, reorganizing my um, sex exploitation uh, shelf. And I'm going to go over a couple of exploitation films I have from the 70s, 60s, 50s, and 80s. And some from the 90s. And uh, just categorizing things and building a new shelf. This is what rolled last night. Uh, entire Ted V. Michaels um, signature collection had rolled. So first up we had uh, Girl in Gold Boots. We had uh, Ten Violent Women. Then we had Blood Orgy of the She-Devils. The Corpse Grinders. One. And The Corpse Grinders, two. And The Doll Squad, featuring the gorgeous, talented Francine York and Tori Santana. And all the rest of the dolls. But this is what rolled last night, the ultimate series collection from Tevi Michaels. I'm a huge fan of Tevi Michaels. And uh, several other directors, but uh, this is what rolled last night on my gigantic featured wheel. And uh, over here in this section over here, we have the Black Exploitation. I'll go over a few of those two also. Let me show you guys what we have. All right, so we have the Roger Corman's Cult Collection, triple feature. Uh, Women in Cages featuring the Big Bird Cage, the Big Doll House, and uh, Women in Cages, which is one of my favorites. Got to have this in the collection. Also, we have uh, Sweet Sugar. That's when you have it all together. You don't have to run off at the mouth. I love Phyllis Davis. She, she is totally gorgeous. Sweet sugar, baby. And White Mama, Black Mama. Pam Greer and Nico Ford and all the rest of them. And they also coupled to also together. They came together again in the uh, Roger Corman's Big Doll House too also. With uh, Roberta Gans and uh, uh, several other ones. And I had to make this up because I didn't really have the slipcover for it. But I just put... Uh, I went and got some Blu-ray jackets, and this made a um, trip with the teacher. And uh, inside of here is also, um, I think it's uh, Father's Day on the other side. And on the other side, along with Trip with the Teacher, we have, uh, on the same bill, we have uh, Zombie Virtue Strippers. Then we also have... Uh, the Last House on the Left, Toys Not For Children, no guys don't get a chance, y'all guys gotta check this out, Toys For Not For Children, uh, I'm gonna show y'all the artwork, I'm gonna try to lead them in order because they are ready to go on the shelf, and here's what it looks like inside guys, Toys Are Not For Children, this movie is ultimate, and uh, I kind of fell in love with it. So uh, if y'all guys kind of check it out, you guys got to really, really get a chance to check this out. This is really like one of the ones that you kind of have in your collection. Um, and it, the title implies the way it says, Toys Are Not For Children. And I don't want to spoil it for a lot of people, but uh, you're going to find out through this movie that toys are really not <laughs> for children. So I'm going to briefly go through the booklet. Oh yeah, and I also have a copy of Straight On To The Morning to also inside of here. So I have to really put this. So what I do is I keep them together because they are sex exploitation. And they're going to roll on the same feature. So that's why I kind of keep them together. So I do double features in my lab. So this is what we have going on. It's beautifully done artwork in the booklet. There's her in her room, which her old room is dressed up as a doll room, which I thought was very, very cute. Well, who 
hasn't grew up on toys? And there's Johnny. She falls in love with Johnny. They work at a toy store. And the uh, story picks up from there. It's totally badass. It really, really is. Brilliant director. Brilliant director. And there's her mom. Nicely done. Toys are not for children. It's one of my favorites. Now it's got a good chance, gotta check this out. Toys are not for children. All right, so on that same wheel program, we also have uh, the Candy Snatchers, which is another one of my favorites, too, also. We also have uh, Astro Zombies featuring Tori Santana, John Carradine, and Wendell Curry. Well, another one of my favorites, too, also. We also have Bitch Slap. Unrated. And I also have the, the gigantic poster for her too also. Totally badass. Guys, here's that poster. Beautifully done, beautifully done. So in a movie, she calls herself Trixie, which is pretty cool. I love Trixie. All right, so next up we have Pam Greer, Coffee. It's the end of your life, you rotten dope pusher. And last but not least, we have uh, Foxy Brown. And I do also have this on VHS too, also. And here's the VHS copy of Foxy Brown. Still brand new, in good condition. I keep all my tapes uh, pretty much in good condition. So I'm just doing my exploitation wheel. Uh, make sure I pretty much add everything that I pretty much need to have inside of it. So we'll be moving Pam Greer over. So the next wheel, we have uh, Jackson County Jail and Caged Heat. Jackson County Jail, no place for a lady. It's one of my favorites too also. And then we also have Reform School Girls, which is my favorite, and Fraternity Vacation. Roger Corman's, I'm a huge fan of Roger Corman's too also. Um, featured Action Pack, uh, Georgia Peaches, The Great Texas Dynamite Chase, and Smokey Bites the Big Dust. I mainly buy, uh, bought it for um, The Great Texas Dynamite Chase. Totally awesome. And then we have the Cinephone Girls featuring Andrew Prime as the stalker. He really played a good uh, good character 
uh, in this particular film. It's one of the serious badass films if you're going to do exploitation. I mean, he really bought exploitation out of this damn feature here. Also, you know, I love my Angie Dickerson, uh, Big Bad Mama 1 and Big Bad Mama 2. Can't be anybody else. Gotta have it. Big Bad Mama 1 and Big Bad Mama 2. Roger Coleman's cult classics. I have a lot of Roger Coleman stuff. I'm a huge Roger Coleman fan. So I'm just organizing everything, getting everything all dolled up and put together. And they all, they all be going back to the shelf. I have a new shelf now. So this is what all this is going to be about. Putting all this back on that new shelf. Let's set that over there for a minute. So let's get back to this one again. Now, as for last night, um, I actually started off with the girl in gold boots. So yeah, so the way I have it is the way I have it um, pictured up. And uh, it was one of the massive wheels that I pretty much had that I had to ever do uh, in my entire time. Because it was like, it was so much going on. But I definitely had to start off with uh, Girl in Gold Boots. And then it went to 10 Violent Women. Then uh, Blood Oja, the She-Devils, Corpse Grinders 1 and 2, and then the, um, the Doll Squad. Now the Doll Squad is supposed to be behind 10 Violent Women. So let's put that in order now. All right, so this is the way it's going to go on the shelf. And then the Corpse Grinders, um, Blow Joe the Sheet Devil, the Corpse Grinders 1 and Corpse Grinders 2. So that's way, that way that goes. It goes pretty much that way. So, yeah. All right, so uh, moving down to the exploitation wheel. And I have my pillows up too. My pillows are pretty badass too. So I have everything all organized. So like I said, I got my pillows up all the way around. So they organized you also, which are pretty cool. So, all right, so we had last left off at my uh, Ultimate Tevi Michaels section. And uh, these two also rolled on a double bill too also. I always keep those two together for some reason. And sometimes I may throw in uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre because it was like kind of right behind Last House on the left. But I excluded Texas Chainsaw Massacre and had Texas Chainsaw Massacre hooked up with um, Deranged. So this is that double bill that I would have. I would have Deranged hooked up with uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's one of my favorites. Gotta have Deranged. Then you will have, uh, of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But these two that I would normally have as a double feature role. And then, you know, you just go right into The Last House on Life and... Uh, I spit on your grave. But that's what normally what I would have uh, rolling. So we'll be moving over next to some of the black exploitation. And uh, for that one, we have Vigilante featuring Robert Foster, Fred Williamson, which is another one of my favorites too. Also, got to have Vigilante. Then also we will have Tamara Dobson as Cleopatra Jones. Featuring Shelly Winters too also as Molly. We got Bucktown, Fred Williamson and Pam Gray and the rest of the cast.
for my badass sex exploitation wheel. 70s and 80s. I mostly collect the 70s stuff in here because it's like to me, since I was born in the 70s, I kind of like grew up watching these features. And uh, sadly, I didn't make it to the driving to see some of these features. So that's why I decided to start my own channel in honor of the driving days. So this is where all this derives from. So my collection is built around um, the drive-in classic theater. So we have Superfly. He's out for the big one. You get it? The big one. You don't have to work these streets no more. Also, then we have Fred Williams in Hell Up in Harlem. Look like you're trying to set yourself up. Look around. I own this. I even own you. Last night's feature road was um, Jive Turkey. I had played that last night. So that road to you also. So I'm going to do a feature on that too also. And then um, I think the night before that, Cotton comes to Harlem. And then uh, Black Dolomite had road. And then we go back around again. Fred Williamson. Black Caesar. And also, you know, I love my Elsa. I love my Diane Thorne, man. She rocks. I pretty much got all of her movies. But we have the Tigress of Sheba. Chilling erotic. Here Elsa roars. Tigress of Sheba. Then we have Elsa, the Wicked Warden. Now I also do have Sick Girl too also, which is over there. But uh, I have moved her into channel 13. All this right here is called channel 13 on this side right here. All this is my black exploitation cinema. Uh, this belongs over there. But all this is my channel 13 in honor of Mark and John Polona, the Polona brothers. So I started a channel and a group called channel 13. And everything is over here on the channel 13 with. But we have Elsa, the Wicked Warden. Then we have Thriller, a crew picture, a.k.a. they call her One Eye. It's one of my favorites too also. I'm still going to get this on Blu-ray also too also, so that way I have it all the way around. I'm a huge fan of Christina Lindbergh. And uh, I will be getting the poster too also on the wall. So this will be pretty much pretty badass. Nice good edition of uh, this. Thriller A Crew picture. And this is all going on my shelf, so I try to keep everything all lined up. Now, as you're going all the way around, it's my Planet Terror and Death Proof. We have uh, Planet Terror, Death Proof, and uh, Angel of Death on the massive pillar wheel. And it's, I like my. Westerns, adventure, silent thriller, cartoon, romance, comedy, silent horror. I have a lot of silent horror too also, which ran, but I did it on a separate feature because I went all the way back to 1932. Then I came up to 1944. So check out that. And then we got B-movie, classics. I love this pillow. It's one of my all-time favorite pillows next to my popcorn and gore, which is the name after the cinema. All right, so guys, so we have uh, Shock Festival. Then 
Then we also have uh, Shadow Dead Riot, featuring a Tony Todd as the AKA Shadow, and Carla Green as the Kick Ass Solitaire. Then we also have Nude Nuns with Big Guns. It's another one of my favorites. And then we have None of That, which is another one of my favorites too also. And I do have the movie poster too also, featuring Sarah Nicholson and uh, everybody else. All right, guys, there's the poster for None of That. Gigantic poster. You can't even always get it all the way on the screen. And there's My Night of Living Dead. And there's my other one. None of that. And so, so we have none of that. <laughs> and then we have Gohor, which is my favorite too. Also, I love Gohor. Gohor is like my ultimate favorite. Um, I always run this. The way how it's laid out, guys, is the way it's going on my shelf. So this is pretty badass. But Gohor, man, I love Gohor. And Audrey Street plays Gohor, by the way. She goes, I don't think it's going to work. Gorgasm. Gorgasm kicked ass, too, also. She Kills, featuring Jody Russo, which is another badass. And there's Sick Girl, which is my favorite. Leslie Andrews. So we're going to work on her. Apologize about the glare, guys. Uh, Lights, Camera, Blood is also good, too. Also, one of my favorites, too. Also, these guys when I put those to be uh, film directors and um, they didn't want to use props and fake stuff like that. So they went out and started getting real people in and use it in the video and found out that it made the video more real, of course. And then right behind this, I also played the video did too also, which is another one of mine that I usually roll as a double feature. Splatter Farms, another one of my favorites too also. A vintage tribute to the Polonia brothers, Mark and John Polonia. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Splatter Farms, baby. They also. When I'm running this, also plays uh, the same on the same driving wheel. Uh, return to Splatter Farm too, also. And then I usually run um, Blood Fart Lake and um, I Drink Your Blood. Also on the same featured wheel. So they have Monster Movie too, also inside. Splatter Farms, baby. And of course, Channel 13, a horror anthology. The movie that started it all for me. Well, when I first saw this, I was like, wow, it kind of inspired me to do some stuff. Because even though back in the days, in the early 80s, I was also filming too. But I was doing things mostly on VHS tape. And I uh, like how they were doing. Uh, but they were using high V8 before they switched over to, to um, video. But um, most of us grew up recording uh, to uh, VHS. And um, that's all I used to do is make um, tapes for my friends and um, never knew that I wanted to be an inspired film director. And it led to me started to collect movies, collecting movies. And then uh, as I grew up, every time we would go to Ames or Earl's Video or um, Suncoast Video and Blockbuster, I would just like rent the movie to see how it was. And then I would, if it was nice, then I would actually buy the movie because Ames had a lot of the movies well, you could buy them on VHS. So I had a huge VHS collection at the time, way before DVD. And then as things started to move along, I wasn't predominantly a Laserdisc fan, but I was mostly into VHS. That was like my thing. And I had every VHS tape that I that you could imagine that 
uh, I pretty much had. Over the years, I lost some, but I still recruited a lot of them too also. And then ended up just switching totally to uh, DVD. Channel 13. Snuff. The bloodiest thing that ever happened in front of a film. Camera. And it's filmed in South America where life is cheap. It's not one of my favorites too also. Snuff. Beautifully done by Blue Dime, Blue Underground. Channel 13. Just to give you all a little recap. Splatter Farms. Lights, Camera, Blood. Sick Girl. She Kills. Gorgasm. When you call, this make sure you say you want the ultimate experience or the ultimate orgasm. And then we have Gohor. None of that, baby. New nuns with big guns. Shadow Dead Riot. Shock Festival. Thriller, a.k.a. Crew Pitcher, a.k.a. They Call Her One-Eye. Elsa, the Wicked Warden. Elsa, the Tigress of Sheba. All that is a part of Channel 13. Then it stops and it goes Black Exploitation, which I do have more, but they're up on the shelf right now. And uh, like I said, uh, last night I played... Um, well, last night's single feature. It wasn't a double feature last night. It was a single feature. And that was um, Jive Turkey played last night. And then the next feature other than that will be a double feature. And it would be Cotton Comes to Harlem and Foxy Brown. And also the fe feature bucket too with Sweet Sugar. Uh, Black Mama, White Mama. Reform School Girls and Fraternity Vacation. Andrew Prime's Cinephobe Girls, the Cinephobe Girls, and uh, Black Mama, White Mama, uh, double feature with uh, Big Bad Mama 1 and Big Bad Mama 2, and uh, Foxy Brown. So over here, then we had uh, the Astro Zombies, Toys Are Not For Children. Corpse Grinders was a double feature along with the Candy Snatchers. Sometimes I had them hooked up. Uh, Trip with the Teacher inside. And uh, Bitch Slap featuring my ultimate poster uh, that I had up the top. Guys, this is Julia Roth, the one in the middle. She's the one from Bitch Slap. So the one to get the girl in the middle, that's her. That's Julia Voth. V O T H is her last name spelled. Uh, she's gorgeous. So I had to order that gigantic poster from her. And then next up we had Coffee and Foxy Brown. Now the one that was for Foxy Brown was to be over there as far as the VHS tape. So that'll be the Foxy Brown uh, Ultimate Edition. And that will be the Ultimate Shot. I try to keep everything pretty much uh, together when I do my uh, double feature wheels and stuff like that because uh, you never know when uh, you're going to need to do another feature which requires you to have everything all pretty much set up. So there it is. The ultimate. And all that goes with 
just this wheel right here, the black exploitation wheel. So that goes over here on this section. So that will be part of that wheel right there. So it's the black exploitation. So she's all put together in her shelf wheel. So they will all go behind each other on that particular wheel. So guys, I know this is a lengthy one, but it's gonna be on be up for at least about a couple hours, at least putting everything all together. Plus artwork and um, moving some things around. But I finally got the shelf up and uh, just have everything all put together into the shelf. I just wanna thank y'all guys for checking out my channel and uh, liking what I do. And uh, feel free to leave me a uh, message at the bottom and uh, click that like button. And uh, let's talk about some movies, especially some movies that you like and uh, some recommendations that you have seen when you were a kid that you collected on VHS or DVD. And uh, we can pretty much uh, get something started. And uh, I just want to thank y'all guys for checking me out for Popcorn and Gore Gothic Grindhouse. And this is my exploitation wheel uh, organization for us putting things back to my shelf. And um, I'll try to at least uh, put up more media too also as I have uh, more media coming in. So for right now, this is going to be the uh, ultimate shelf. Let me show you what that space is going to look like on the shelf. When it gets uh, finished, I'll show y'all a new video of it. So y'all, thank y'all guys for checking me out. And um, click that like button and please subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep the projector rolling. Peace, guys.